This is Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. You know, we are getting ready for the school year when it comes to elementary, junior high, and high school, and college. And with me from the Houston Community College is the Interim Director of Media Management and Public Relations, the lovely Janice Evans. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here on Sunday morning. Yes, yes, yes. So um, HCC, staple here in Houston, and um, you all have your uh, fall registration uh, that is coming up. So um, what's the deadline for the fall registration? Well, classes start August 27th, so okay. it would be good to get registered before <laughs> August 27th so you can start classes on that day. So, Indeed. Yeah, up to the 26th, it, it, uh-huh. you can register. Can you talk about the... Um, the different programs you all have a lot of programs at HCC, um, and I'm sure there's a uh, our listening audience with a wide variety of interest that maybe you all can fulfill. Over 100 different areas of study and mm. more than 20 campuses all over Houston. So no matter where you live, wait, 20? 20. Wow. Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. Um, And we have seven colleges, different Mm -hmm. colleges. And our newest college is the online college, which is brand new. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, for years we've heard about distant learning, distance learning, and it's changed a lot. It's way different than it used to be where you would correspond and Mm -hmm. take your classes by that. You can go online, um, register for your classes, and then study from home, study from the Starbucks, study from wherever online and it may be that you don't have to visit a classroom to complete your classes and as of now we started at the start of the summer it keeps growing mm-hmm. as we get closer to the start of the semester and we're up to 32 degrees and certificates that you can complete entirely online and then there are more than 350 unique online classes that are available so you might be able to do some sort of combination let's say you're going for an associate degree in English or something. Mm -hmm. Some of those classes you could take online. Some of them you could take in the classroom. Wow. And it's growing. And it's growing. We continue to add classes. At the start of the summer, we were 21 degrees and certificates. We're now up to 32. And uh, as we move closer, they just keep, they're searching the system Mm -hmm. um, for how they can, can add more degrees and certificates. That is unbelievable. So people, I... I would think that sometimes people would still kind of want that interaction with the professor, you know, maybe after class, you know, sit and maybe an independent study or something. But Well, there's still interaction with your professor. Um, there will have to be, you know. But it's some, all virtual, I guess. Yeah. There there might be, you know, like your time um, just talking with them could be by Skype. Okay. Um, so you would check in and, and discuss whatever work you're you've been assigned and and talk that way it's not totally without support there's Mm -hmm. advisors that provide support to the online students and the teachers and it's all by accredited teachers and you can work your way toward a a degree that way technology and it's something it's um i i it's way different than and and plus online colleges used to have sort of a kind of iffy reputation (laughs) absolutely they did yeah 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 because you had so many um Coming up in the beginning stages, like uh, the one that just really sticks out is the University of Phoenix. Mm -hmm. I think that's like one of the first like commercials that I remember seeing of an online college. Um, Surprisingly enough, and this is not a slight or a dig, but (laughs) I do remember advertisement for Trump University as well. Yes, I think we all heard about that during the campaigns. Yeah, Um, and... (laughs) <laughs> HCC universe or HCC is not like any of those. These right. are accredited programs, yes. and you can you can take almost anything you want to study. You can mm-hmm. you're going to be able to find an online class. Yeah, I think that community colleges are so vital um, to cities, and I wish um, I remember when President Obama was in office, and uh, he had suggested. A community college be free like if you want to you know continue your education but you can't afford to go to a university or whatever like i guess kind of make uh, the community college like the 13th and 14th grade <laughs> if you will mm-hmm. in order to get uh, that degree that you need or just that associates and uh you all care about the community you all 
you got great, something great for the seniors as well, for people over 65. We yes? do. Um, it's a brand new program starting this year, and it's free tuition. If you are 65 and over, free tuition. She and said free. That's free. There are there are some some restrictions. Sure. Like you want to get registered early because if the class fills up with those who are paying, then mm-hmm. there's you're we're gonna out. we're you're gonna be out of luck. Right. So I would urge anybody that's interested in that to sign up early um, to make sure that you get a slot in the class. Then there's also if you're 55 um, and older, so that. In between 55 and 65, we're mm-hmm. offering half-price tuition, so 50% mm-hmm. off um, to go and take a class. And let's say you, you've never gone to college. It's always something you've wanted to do, mm-hmm. and the kids are grown now, um, out of the house, mm-hmm. go back to school. Maybe you just want to get out of the house and and be with some younger kids, too, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and enjoy that, and just take a class for fun. So it's either free or 50% off. I like that. You listen to Access Houston. We're talking to Janice Evans, who is the interim uh, director of media management and public relations at Houston's Community College. Um, Can you talk about how HCC get students started to the path of a, uh, to a lucrative career? There are various paths that you can take, and we like to call it Pathways to Success Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. in the past, there wasn't a lot of attention on helping students finish. Mm -hmm. Um, That's got to be the goal. You want the students to succeed. You want them to finish, so you want to give them the support that they need so they can either get that degree, go do something with that degree, maybe transfer to a four-year school. Mm -hmm. Um, We have... uh, Arrangements with University of Houston, University of Texas, Texas A&M, almost any of the universities in Texas we have arrangements with so you can transfer and then finish and get a four-year degree. If you don't want to do that, come to HCC and pursue some of the workforce options. There's automotive um, that you can pursue. You could go to Coleman College, which is our College for Health Sciences, and come out with a a certificate or a degree that you could actually go and apply and get a job. So it doesn't take two years. It's just finding what you're interested in, looking at what the requirements are, and then just go. We like to say, you know, we are Houston's Houston's Community College because yeah. we yeah. want to help kids. We want to help them get to where they're going. Indeed. And for more information, where can uh, people go? I mean, just it, be it to register, to find out of the, the many different programs, the, over, the 100 programs that you all have there, like all of the information that one would need. HCCS.edu backslash. No, it's, I'm sorry. It's forward slash now. And there you have it. And social media, you guys, are, of course, you're on social media. We're on social media. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. A little uh-huh. bit of Snapchat, not little, so much. Little, we're, we're working toward that. We're trying to get there, but look for us at HCC District is, is our handle. Indeed. Janice Evans, thank you for coming on the program. Let us know. Hey, listen, registration starts. Registration is underway right now. Right now. Right now. And Classes the first day start on the 27th. That's right. So get to getting. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the program. Thanks for having us. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth, uh, welcoming a young, vivacious, beautiful, <laughs> fit woman. I, I just feel her energy as soon as I met her. And as you hear her laughing, you, you can understand because it's infectious. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Roz Jones. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, KG. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, the pleasure is is all mine. So, um, you are the um, are you the founder of Destination Fitness? Yes. Yeah. So it's actually Fitness Adventures. Um, okay. I am the founder of it. It is a travel experience for anybody. Really? So, uh, so mm-hmm. tell us about it. Expound on it. So, Fitness Travel Adventures is exactly what it says it's fit ish so it's an experience that's going to combine a cultural aspect your fitness aspect Mm -hmm. mindfulness as well as a humanitarian flair as well because i love food there's the immersion in food as well so you can view it just like my brand it's a it's a lifestyle retreat to understand how to integrate all those different aspects into your life indeed so can you um 
kind of give us a walkthrough or, or an example of, of um, how it works or how you uh, go about it with your lifestyle? Right. So from the beginning, if anybody registers, it comes with a pre-training. Okay. So all of our retreats have some type of lead up, whether it's hiking Mount Batur in Bali or hiking Machu Picchu. You have to train for that. Oh. So to bring yeah. together the community, right, yeah. and everybody that's involved, there's an app-based training that's accessible to anybody globally. Then you also have your Facebook Lives because traveling yeah. internationally or just in general can be really daunting to figure out currency exchange and how to book, book travel. So we take mm -hmm. care of all of that. There's education on that. The actual adventure happens, um, which includes, I said, everything from fitness to maybe a cooking class to hiking a volcano. And then the unique thing is that at the end, you've created this this magic. You've been immersed in this culture and you kind of emerge with a new perspective and shift on maybe your life, how it's impact you by seeing different ways that cultures interact. And so with that, we've integrated also about a four week follow up so that that magic can continue, whether it be the five minute breathing exercises mm -hmm. or just checking in for accountability. That's a big thing. So mm -hmm. it is a complete experience from registration to even post trip. Indeed, you're listening to Access Houston. We're talking to Roz Jones. She's the founder of Destination Get Destination Fitness Getaways and Life Impact. And so um, I see something on here that is very, very exciting. Okay. Can you tell us about <laughs> What you're going to have going on uh, coming up this March at South by Southwest. Oh, yes. I'm very, very excited. So I've presented a presentation to South by Southwest. It's Destination Fitness, Getaways, and Life Impact. And what that presentation will do, it's presented amongst a lot of your creators, your global entrepreneurs, it's music, it's film, it's everything coming together to show diversity in the industry and provide mm -hmm. information to the public. So my so that's that first week. That's the first the, 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 yes. the film and digital. Okay. Yes, that is the first week. So my presentation itself actually goes into focusing on the shift that fitness is making now. And you mm -hmm. may have seen it, but the industry in general is shifting more to a lifestyle and defining yes. what that is. Yes. That's the first part of it. The second part of it will be figuring out how integrating the travel can spark creativity and bring about is that just a different perspective, a shift, a different experience and learning how to cultivate all those different parts a little more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we'll focus on how that magic continues, the impact, and more so the statistics of traveling and mm -hmm. the, you know, all the logistics of, of that. But it'll be a good informative presentation on creating just kind of that lifestyle, which is yeah. what I always approach it from. Yeah, it sounds exciting. Um, I look forward to... Uh... Checking that out, I'm going to go that first weekend at okay. South by Southbeth. I went for the first time this past spring uh -huh. <laughs> on the music weekend for Magic 102, where I host The Quiet Storm, so that's on our, our sister station. Um, and it was tough to find, like, you know, some R&B um, acts and just R&B content yes. for the Magic audience. And so I said, you know what, next year <laughs> I'm going to have to go to the interactive film. Yes, you know, go, to get, go to and, it all. Go to it all. And get more. <laughs> you listen to Access Houston. We're talking to uh, Roz Jones. So... Um, fitness being your your thing mm -hmm. can you give us some stats on uh, Houston obesity uh, and just obesity period and or, or just out of shape stats for uh, African Americans just people in period in general, in general yes so there's there's two sides there's some good news actually for Houston but okay. we'll get to that overall um, in general the CDC says that by 2020 two out of every five Americans will be obese that, I know, it's like... That's in two years. Yeah, exactly. That's in two years. And Houston itself, um, as a whole, in terms of obesity, 41.7% of, let me take that back, of Texans, African-American Texans are obese. What was that, 14? 41.7% of African-Americans in the state of Texas are currently obese. 41. One, yes, you heard that right. 41.7%. Now, a lot of initiatives have been made through the years to improve that. And actually, Houston in 2012 was in the top 10. I know you probably know this, for the most obese cities. Yeah, I did see but that. But through some pushes with Mayor Anise Turner, uh, or Mayor uh, Anise Parker and mm -hmm. Turner, that number, we've actually number 17 now. 
Okay. Yeah, and that's just through the different programs through underserved communities, uh-huh. the growth of Emancipation Park, and the initiatives of providing free fitness opportunities. Midtown has now free fitness in Bagby Park. So the initiatives are being made, and that's why we've had now jumped up on that list for improvement for these cities. So yeah, that's that's awesome. That is amazing. Um, a lot of people they want to get started. Mm-hmm. You know, working out, they they feel as if, you know, I need to lose this gut. Some women I hear, you know, they talk about their food pie and, and all of that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so what are um, some of the things that people can do to just to start to get that momentum going for them to work out regularly and probably eventually, I don't know, lift weights if that what if that's what they want to do or what tips can you give? What I always chat with clients about or anybody coming, any athletes, is that one, find something that you like doing. Okay. I mean that's that's the first start. And find something you like doing that you can actually envision yourself doing in the next three months possibly six months something that you look forward to when you get off work and it's not dreadful because that in itself will will lead to consistency it's not always about i heard running was the best way to lose weight Mm -hmm. and then ask people like well do you like running they're like no it hurts my knees it does this then what do you like doing Mm -hmm. and if it is lifting weights if it is hiking then it's like find that group and go with it the second thing I always say is find your why. And the why isn't always, I have, you know, I have a FUPA or something like that, but digging even deeper. I've worked with some clients where it's like, actually, my mom died of diabetes. It's mm-hmm. not that I just want to lose weight. Right. And I'm like, okay, let's, let's, let's unearth a little bit more what's going on with your family. And so going underneath the surface and the kind of more aesthetic reasons, that's the big why. And that's also what that ind- individual has to determine. And then Mm. surrounding themselves with that community, with people that are maybe into the same things, whether it's hiking or biking or cycling or lifting or coming to a hit class, whatever it is, find that community, immerse yourself in it that is going to be fun for you. Yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. And so um, why are you encouraged to help? Why am I encouraged to help? You know, it's it's really interesting kind of the journey I've taken. I started in fitness when I was when I was. 20 okay. <laughs> um, with a step class, old school step aerobics. And it started off with, I'm going to help people lose weight, impact their lives. But, you know, fast forward 14 years later, and it's a much deeper purpose for me now. Mm-hmm. Granted, I am a people person and I mm-hmm. love connecting people. And it is now evolved into a way that fitness is is my vehicle to bring people together. That's different, fitness levels, ethnicities, races, ages, genders, in order to build a community, and it's fun. And then you get the result of feeling better, of being healthier, of having longevity, of being able to run with your kids, yeah. whatever it may be. So I really get excited, and I think all my athletes know this, when I see strangers at the beginning of the workout, and then at the end, they're like, hey, do you want to go get lunch? They're like, you don't know each other before? No. So it's that connection and community that really excites me now in terms of the group aspect. I mean, that's in traveling, that's in everything. But I just love seeing people move and seeing them be their best and exceed their expectations. I love that. <laughs> you listen to Access Houston. We're talking to Roz Jones, the founder of Destination Fitness, Getaways, and Life Impact. Um, where can people get more um, info about uh, Roz? Fit lifestyle. Yes. So exactly that. They can check online. My website is rosfitlifestyle.com. My Instagram is rosfitlifestyle as well. And then Facebook is Ros. And you're active too. So I, yes. I like that. <laughs> I'm very active in the community. I actually host free classes the second and fourth Saturday at Bagby Park. So we have a hit class at 930 and then a yoga class at 1030 a.m. See, look yeah. at there. And you find me online. So I do at base training. So wherever you're at. I can connect that's with where you, you that go. Way. See, yeah. that, that's great. I knew that um, the uh, that working out and just a more healthier lifestyle, people who are into fitness, was all of the rage because I slowly saw the increase of how much it costs to buy workout gear. <laughs> okay? Yes. Could get a pair of compression pants for about <laughs> 20, 25 bucks. Not, uh-uh. n- not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. I mean, compression pants are like 
40 to $70. <laughs> I saw a pair of uh, uh, Nike ones. I'm like, $70 for some Capitalizing on the market. <laughs> really, though? Like, really? But the quality, it lasts. It lasts. This is true. And I am I am a quality over quantity, but those same ones about four years ago uh-huh. was about thirty dollars cheaper. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? She bought me, keep she going. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, thank you for coming on the program. I think um what Absolutely. you're doing is just um it, it's different. It's amazing. I mean, for you to have a company to get people to be healthy and, and, and also travel right. at the same time. I mean, that's 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 gold. I mean, <laughs> it, it really is. So thank you yes. so much. Thank for you for having on. me. Indeed. The lovely Roz Jones of Destination Fitness Getaways and Life Impact. Make sure you follow her on her social media rossfitlifestyle.com and then also on Instagram at rossfitlifestyle. Indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And thank you for listening to Access Houston. We'll be back with more Access Houston on 97.9 The Box.